sound me freely. One of Clavicus's little Jess, a wizard named Sebastian Lord, had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. The axe isn't the only item dear old Clavicus has. Give him the rueful axe, and once we're reunited, the mask of Clavicus Vile will be yours. Lead the way. All right, then. We'll get together later. You are exactly what I was looking for. You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked, and I'm continuing to do so. I know, I know. Wars to fight, dragons to confront, guild business to conduct. Sheesh! Yeah, I think it'll be just what I need. Well, I guess you could say I got on his knives. I tend to be the voice of reason, and he finds that uh, irksome. He couldn't just kill me, you see. We're technically part of each other. But he was able to banish me from his domain. Of course, because of our separation, Vile is now much weaker. I guess he figured it was a small price to pay for not having to listen to me anymore. My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. You're very funny. <laughs> My master's Clavicus Vile, Daedric Prince of Wishes. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Listen, when you're ready to do something useful, find me outside Hamar's Shame in Falkreath. Well, 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 hello there, big man. Hello there, miss. Barbus, at your service. Well, 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 hello there, big man. Hello there, miss. Barbus, at your service. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. I knew I could trust you. Vile, none of that. You made a deal, and the mortal stood by it honestly. Now it's your turn to come through. We should go get the axe. Let's get the axe and be done with this. Now that guy was nuts. Don't bother. Clavicus won't talk to me. Oh, wait a second. There, there's another option here. I have a feeling I'm not going to like what happens when we get back to Clavicus. All this just to kill me, Clavicus? I remember that axe. <laughs> <laughs>